Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have the exact same problem as we did in the previous video, but in this case we're going to find the y coordinate of the centroid instead of the x coordinate of the centroid. Again, we take a small little slice of this cutoff wedge, but in this case the y coordinate of the centroid would be the distance from the xz plane to the center of this dv, this small little volume element, that would be here this height, which is half the height of the total volume, and therefore this would be equal to y divided by 2, half the distance from the xz plane to the top of this, of this uh, wedge-shaped uh, object. We still have the same relationship between the x and the y variable. It's this line right here, which can be written in the terms of y equals mx plus b. The slope in this case is a drop of 4 over run of 8, so minus 4 over 8, that's the slope times x plus the y intercept would be equal to 4, the height of this wedge at the end here is equal to 4, so the equation y equals minus 1 half x plus 4 is the relationship between x and y. The equation to find the y coordinate of the centroid that's equal to the integral of the y coordinate of each little small volume dv times the dv, and we're going to integrate it from 0 to, let's see, from 0 to 8, if, well, let's leave the limits of integration out for this moment because we don't know what our differential is yet, divided by the integral of dv. When we plug in the dv, the dv here would be z times y times dx, and the y coordinate of the volume, the small little dv here is y over 2. The integral of y divided by 2 for the y coordinate of the centroid of the small little dv times dv, which is z times y times the dx, divided by the integral of dv, which is z times y times dx. So what we're going to try to do here is write every variable in terms of x, so the x limits are going to be from 0 to 6. From 0 to 6, from 0 to 6 are going to be the limits of integration. We can pull out a 1 half here, also, z is going to be the constant 2 because the wedge is a constant 2 units wide in the z direction. So this can be written as 1 half times the integral of y times 2 times y times dx from 0 to 6 divided by the integral 2 times y times dx from 0 to 6. And then you can see that the 2's cancel out both in the numerator and the denominator. And all I have to do is convert from y to what y is equal to in terms of x. So the y coordinate of the centroid is equal to the integral of 1 half, I can put the 1 half in the front of the integral sign, y squared, that would be this quantity squared, minus 1 half x plus 4 quantity squared times dx. In the denominator, I have an integral of minus 1 half x plus 4 times dx. That means I have to square the numerator. This is equal to 1 half. And the limits are from 0 to 6. From 0 to 6, 1 half times the integral of square this, I get 1 quarter x squared. 4 times this is a minus 2x. Double that is a minus 4x, because you do twice the product of the two uh, terms. And then you get plus 16, all that times dx. And divide that by the integral. 0 to 6, 0 to 6 of minus 1 half x plus 4 times dx. And now finally have it into a form I can integrate, both the numerator and the denominator. This is equal to 1 half times x cubed divided by 3 times 4, which is 12, minus 4x squared divided by 2, and plus 16x evaluated from 0 to 6. In the denominator, when we integrate this, we get minus x squared over 2 times 2, which is 4, and plus 4x, also evaluated from 0 to 6. Notice we don't have to plug in the lower limit. We do plug in the upper limit and see what we get. That is 1 half times, when you plug in a 6 in there, that's 216 divided by 12. 216 divided by 12 is 18. The first term reduces to 18 minus, that's 36 times 2, which is 72. 
And here, 6 times 16, that's 60, that's 96, plus 96, all divided by, here we get 36 divided by 4, which is minus 9, and 6 times 4 plus 24. Simplifying that a little bit further, in the numerator, we get 18 minus 72 plus 96, divide by 2. That gives us 21. Divided by, uh, let me see here, is that correct? 18 plus 96 minus 72, 42 divided by 2, yes. So we get 21 and divide by 15. 21 divided by 15 equals 1.4. If I remember right, 1.4 was the same answer we got in the previous example where we didn't use the direct calculation method. Looks like we did everything correctly here. And again, that's how we do things in the direct calculation method. We use the equation where we find the centroid by using this relationship. And that is how we find the y-coordinate of the centroid of this uh, cutoff wedge.